I made these holders for my dinghy. They hold the dinghy on the dive platform of the boat. They're made out of honeycomb core with fiberglass over them and that those pads that are right where the dinghy is are some craft foam that I had left from a different project. These are the temporary dinghy holders that I used when I went from Merritt Island, Florida to Vero and back last summer um, during my shakedown cruise for the boat. I made a cardboard template in the shape of the edge of the dinghy and I transfer that to some of the honeycomb core and here I'm cutting the core with a razor knife like a carpet knife. This works okay um, for small cuts or precision stuff. It's not bad. There are lots of different ways to cut this stuff that you'll see in this series. So there I was verifying that my piece was the right shape. Um, I've cut some more shapes like that. I laid the shape out on glass cloth and I'm laying glass cloth on each of these sections. Um, if I were to do this today, I would put a layer of chopped strand mat down first. That seems to adhere better. And then the glass cloth, and then another layer of chopped strand over the top to make a smoother surface and to protect the woven cloth. Here I've cut little pieces out of the leftover scrap and I'm fitting them to make like a sandwich. Each dinghy holder is five layers thick, but there's only three complete layers like this, and two internal layers are made up of those scrap pieces like this. So starting at one end, there's a full piece, then a hollow piece, then in the middle there's a full piece and then a hollow piece and the far end is a full piece again. I could have made the whole center hollow but the weight of the dinghy is going to press from the top there and I wanted the two extra vertical walls of glass to support the weight of the dinghy. But this actually makes these parts considerably lighter and I use up less material. Here I am checking the fit and I'm going to use a sander to fine tune the fit of the part to get it to be a better match to the shape of the dinghy. And I call this tool the sand finger. Makes quick work of stuff that would would otherwise have to be sanded by hand. Now this I think is kind of a mistake. At the edges of the honeycomb core, there, where it's cut, there's these open cells, and here my first attempts are to try to fill it with. Uh, fairing compound, which is a very lightweight version of Bondo, really. And you can see there's so much volume to those open cells that it takes a big glob of fairing compound and just eats it right up. And a, 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 the main disadvantage of this is that it makes the part a lot heavier. The weight of the fairing compound filling in the edges there is 
at least equal to the weight of the whole rest of the part together. Um, it just seemed to me that if I'm using this lightweight honeycomb core to make super light parts for the boat, it just wasn't a good deal to double the weight of the part by adding fairing compound at the edge. So for later parts, when I'm making the generator doghouse, for example, I lay some chopped strand mat over those open cells and close it off with that. And that works, and it's a lot lighter. The fairing compound is like uh, cake frosting and it's impossible to get it very smooth. So you do a lot of sanding after you've laid on the fairing compound. And usually several rounds of this. Um, it won't be anywhere near perfectly smooth after the first sanding. So then you lay a thinner layer of fairing compound and sand again. Here I finally, well, gotten frustrated with the process and I've laid down some glass cloth both to strengthen the part um, and to seal it from water intrusion, not that that would harm it much. Um, the, the Resin is not completely cured on this glass cloth, so I can come by and trim it with a razor knife. And now I'm sanding the corners. Um, there's a lot of mistakes here. I would have been a lot better off laying chopped strand over the part first before the glass cloth. Those corners that are not rounded between the where the dinghy sits and the ends should have been rounded because the cloth doesn't like to go around a corner like that. Here I'm trimming the cloth where it folds around these round corners and just enough so that it does, the, the part that I just folded isn't hitting that part at the end. And now that end part can be folded in. And there's a little tab that sticks out, so I'm going to trim that off as well. I did the flat sides and top first and now I'm using another layer of cloth to go around the edges because I didn't want it to be weak at the corners there where you know the vertical surface meets the part that holds the dinghy. So you'll be able to see in places I'm having a difficult time getting the glass cloth to adhere to the vertical side just as it goes over that sharp corner. And that's because the glass does not want to make a 90 degree bend. If I knew what I was doing ahead of time, I would have done something to round those corners and then the cloth would lay over the corners better. This is chopped strand mat, and this is what I should have started with. Um, it's just a bunch of fibers randomly oriented that are held together with styrene, which dissolves when you put the resin on. And it becomes sort of just this slurry of chopped fibers in resin. And this does a better job of going around corners and also as your surface layer, it fares in a lot better than the cloth that has a definite weave texture to it.
it's also thicker and would serve as a protective layer over the cloth as well. Here I'm doing the same thing, trying to go around the corners with the chopped strand mat. Since I had three dinghy holders, I experimented with different things for the three different ones to see what would work out best. Actually, the chopped strand is not working so well. You can see the white at that edge that I keep trying to fill in with more resin and it's just futile. The chop strand doesn't want to go around that sharp 90 degree corner. So here again I'm trimming glass cloth with a razor knife and this is pretty easy to do if you catch it you know within the first hour when the resin isn't completely hard and it's a little bit rubbery. Um, here I'm filing. I use some 40 grit sandpaper on pretty much everything until I'm ready to go down through the grits to, to, to a nice surface. And I was using that wrapped around the file. Here on one of the dinghy holders, I'm using a router to round over the corner which I really should have done from the get-go on all of these. Here the glass cloth is doing a better job of adhering to the vertical side right at the corner because the corner has been rounded a bit with the router. This cloth is very thin cloth. It's I think three or six ounce cloth for making surfboards and it does seem to go around the corner better than the chopped strand. Oh yeah, that's really bad. So there's a big bubble. This is the one with the six ounce cloth. So I've put some gel coat on the right angle with a brush and then knocked it down with a sander from the shadows. This side was just, just troweled on. And, and has, has not, not been, been sanded. sanded. So here I'm troweling on some gel coat. You have to put on several layers. Otherwise, when you try to sand it smooth, you'll sand through in places. Um, what I've found works best in the long run is I put on three or four layers with a roller and that'll build up a big pebbly texture kind of thing. And I'll knock just the tops of that off with a sander and then trowel on a final layer and then repeat. I had this craft foam left over from another project and I thought it would be nice to have a little bit something soft where the dinghy rests on these things and also the black contrasting with the white dinghy holders look really cool. I don't know if you're old enough to remember 2001 A Space Odyssey but this reminded me of stuff from, say, in the, the pod bay of the Discovery. But most people don't remember that movie, so... I did a test on a small piece beforehand, and I found that this foam adheres to resin really well. And when I tried to peel my test piece off, 
I tore off the top half of the foam and there was still, you know, this lumpy bottom half of the foam still glued down. So once they're glued on with resin, they're not going anywhere. It was a little bit difficult to get the big pieces to lay into the, cur com the concave curve of the dinghy holder. So I glued them on and then set blocks on them to hold them into the curve while the resin set up. And now I'm cleaning with acetone. Acetone will clean off any resin schmutz on there and not really dissolve the foam.